there are lies, greater lies, and then there is Indian National Congress. They pulled off the same stunt this time as they did when Rahul Gandhi visited Stanford. Stanford rents out different auditorium for people who are willing to pay for it. And it was one such place that he had gone when he was in United States at Stanford. But they made it look as if he was addressing the students of Stanford. That being said, now we are seeing the same playbook being played out in Cambridge. It was what it was and how they tried to pull wool over the eyes of the unsuspecting public is what this video is all about. I request you to like this video and if you have not subscribed to our channel, do subscribe to it. Here we go. Congress has become habituated to doing this again and again. How did they mislead? They said that he was going to go to Cambridge to deliver lectures as if the prestigious university invited him. It was an external event, commercial booking, the college had no involvement in it, says Jesus College of Cambridge University. The event was an external commercial booking. The college had no involvement in the organization or financing of the event. This is one of the colleges of Cambridge University. The Hawkeye, which is a well-known, respected Twitter handle, has said that he made an inquiry to the communication wing of Cambridge University regarding the event held at Elena Hall of Jesus College Cambridge asking if the event was organized by the university at which capacity Mr. Gandhi visited and if it's private who booked the venue. Well, the communications and marketing manager of Jesus College responded that the event was private based on commercial booking and college had no involvement in organizing or financing the event. As a matter of fact, anyone can browse the college website and make a booking. Anyone. The college had no involvement in the organization or financing of the event. You may want to pinch this to get the exact quote. While speaking to the media, Congress spokesperson Jairam Ramesh said that the Nyaya Yatra had to be halted for five days as Rahul Gandhi will be visiting Cambridge and delivering lectures. This is the same wool that they pulled over our eyes when he went to Stanford. Some enthusiastic Congress national spokespersons like Rohan Gupta and Indian Overseas Congress went the extra mile by posting misleading pictures of previous visits. Is it a matter of just PR? No. You see here how many people have started uh, spreading it. The question is not restricted to misinformation related to prestigious university, but how such a private event suddenly became a dire need up to the extent that they held a much sought out political campaign and traveled to UK just ahead of the elections. What was it that was so important that Rahul Gandhi had to travel to the United Kingdom? Gandhi had a record of meeting with George Soros associates, regime change operators, election campaign narrative experts, think tanks and even ISI linked people on foreign soil. Is the exposure of his last visit compelled him to go low this time? See, this is where he is seen with Sunita Vishwanath and a bunch of other people. This was in Washington, D.C. This, I don't know who these people are. Uh, I'm sure this was one of those things like Hudson Institute. The entire Congress IT cell, including some journalists, projected falsely as if he was invited by Cambridge. This is fake news. As explained, anyone can book a venue and hold any event. Here is Ashish Singh saying that, Rahul Gandhi in Cambridge University in London. If, if they had not been questioned, they would have run away with this narrative and made it look as if he was so important that Cambridge University, where his grandfather went to, did not pass. His father went to, most likely he didn't pass either. And he went to and he also did not pass there. He got actually kicked out of Cambridge, if I remember correctly. Then he had to go to United States to a place called Rollins. And, and, and got a degree and then he claims that he's got an MPhil. We have to see his certificate to say if it is true or not. There you go. This man is nothing but a papu in maturity and thought and in expression. And no matter how much his mother tries to make him bigger than what he is, she keeps failing and he keeps coming up short. I don't know how many times he's going to do this thing. Clearly his heart is not in it. I don't know why the INC, so some of them are brilliant people, but they still have to toe the line of the first family. God save India, that's all I can say. I hope this 2024 impending defeat will make the Congress break up and 
have some sense and make it a responsible opposition party. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to click on the bell button for notifications. Namaskar.